Hey, what's up? It's Phil from Easy Unreal, and let me show you today how to paint your uh, puddles, or for example, on this mesh. You can see that I can now easily just paint the puddles on my mesh. And also, if you want, you can add some different layers, like stones or like some dirt over here. So without further ado, let's start with the tutorial. First of all, we go to a uh, bridge. To access the bridge, go over here, click Quixel Bridge, and it will open your bridge. You can log in and go to Surfaces and choose any three surfaces you want. I also downloaded these three surfaces, so I can choose them uh, over here. For example, this rock, I will export. And I will export this second one, this shoreline beach rocks. And let's import the third one, it will be this rocky forest floor. If you go in your browser on the left side, you can see that we have under Megascans surfaces, we have our three materials. We need to create this uh, blended material because in the blended material we have puddles. So we will se select this, for example, this rocky forest floor and this uh, floor will be our base layer. Imagine these three materials as a three layers, just like in uh, Photoshop when you're painting, you have three layers. This will be our basic layer and we may paint uh, the rough rock and shoreline beach on top of it. So select the first one, select it, make sure it's selected, go back to bridge and you can select any of these materials because we need to go over here, click on these uh, settings and you can see that it says create material blend. You can leave everything as it is and just hit create material blend. Nothing will happen, no notification, which is sad, uh, but it's created. If you go back to your Unreal Engine, you can see under the blend materials that we have our blended material. Now it's a good time to save everything. If I open it up, blend material, you can see we have these uh, global parameters and you can see that we can now use puddle layer. Make sure to enable this so we can use a puddle, so we can create a puddles after all. We were talking about the three layers. This is a base, middle and top layer. So you actually choose what you want to add over here. I will go with control space to open this up, go to mega scans and now we need to, to choose our middle layer and top layer. We have our base layer, it's a rocky forest floor. Expand this middle layer and now just drag and drop these textures to corresponding place. You can see it over here, normals to normals and this roughness to roughness. We can close this middle layer, we can open up your top layer and make sure to enable albedo over here and we go to shoreline beach and replace these three. And just hit save up here. Uh, now we will need to create one plane. To do that we will go to modeling mode. If you don't have modeling mode go to edit plugins and you have this modeling tools editor mode. In the modeling mode just select rectangle and if I zoom in you can see the rectangle over here but I will go over here under the wireframe so you can see the geometry. The more geometry you have, the better it will behave. Uh, but the more geometry you have, it will be heavier on your engine. So, you know, balance this thing out. For the purposes uh, of this uh, tutorial, I will go with 100 subdivisions here and 100 subdivisions here. And you can see that uh, our plane has lots of geometry now. You can just hit to place it, hit accept, go back to lit mode and go back to selection and move it up a little bit. We can stretch this a bit to make it bigger and now we will drag and drop our blend material. Just drag and drop it and you can see it over here. Now let's paint this material. To do that we will go back to over here in selection, mesh paint. Click over here paint and now if we just attack over here and try to paint nothing will happen. You can see the paint color will be white and erase color is black. Make sure to switch this like this and now if we paint you can see we are painting something. We don't know what, but we are painting something. To know what we are painting, let's undo this. You can see these channels over here. If I turn off everything and enable just a red channel, you can see that we are painting our middle layer. I will now enable the green layer and we will paint some stones. And if I turn on the blue layer, this will be our puddles. So use this blue to create puddles. And you can see our puddles over here. If you want to make this more realistic, you can check out this displacement tutorial so you can make 
these displacements and then you make some puzzles so it will look more realistic and uh, this is it if you find this helpful let me know in the comments below and check out the channel for more tutorials like this one i hope you like this and uh, have a nice day bye bye